Getting something that is already exceptional and making it even better is the concept that has been with us for many, many years. And today, today we conquered the impossible. This is the best steak money can buy, guys. This is the most beautiful, the emperor of all steaks. This is a prime rib by cap that we have here. And our mission today is to get this perfect, beautiful steak and make it even better. Can it be done? If the ribeye steak is, as some people say, the king of the steaks, then the ribeye cap is the jewel of his crown. This is definitely not a common cut of meat to find. But if you're lucky enough to find a ribeye cap, also known as rib cap or espinali dorsi, at your local meat store, do not hesitate to buy it. And in my humble opinion, this is the greatest cut of meat in the whole cow. The meat of the cap is loose, spongy almost. It is layers of muscle fibers bound together by almost no connective tissue. This cut is full of marbling fat that melts like butter when cooked. And it is not just any fat either, it is ribeye fat. If you're a beef lover already, you know that every muscle tastes differently. And the fat from every part of the cow has its own unique flavor and texture. I can sit in here and talk to you for hours about the ribeye cap, but there is nothing I can say to you right now that would make justice to this amazing carb meat until you try it. Once you bite into it for the first time, there is no way in the world you will disagree with me. And you know, that searing fat is among the best smelling and best tasting things you will ever cook. So let me ask you, with all that said, do you think there is any possible way we can make this even better? And if you ask my little friend here, the answer will be a huge yes! As it is well expressed there, bacon makes everything better. And this case is not an exception. So it is time for us to go ahead and cook some of this bacon for the recipe we are creating today. While the bacon is cooking, we're going to create a compound butter that we will apply to the meat. Yes, this compound butter will be the perfect complement for our steak and it will bound the spices and flavors with the meat in a way that only butter can do. Remember that I always leave the recipe of anything that we do here down there in the description, but I will also like to tell you right here. To make this beautiful compound butter, we will need the following. One and a half bars of butter, four garlic cloves, three shallots, a handful of chopped rosemary, a handful of chopped thyme, ground pepper, and salt. Mix it all up and put them in the fridge. We want this compound butter to be manageable, but not solid. With our bacon done, we want to take it out of the fire and set it up to cool on the board for a bit. Once it is warm to the touch, we will cut it in little pieces. The smaller you can, the better. Now, with all the ingredients ready, it is time to put it all together. First thing we will do here will be to add butter to the inside of the steak. As you can see, I just created a little layer of it. And we do this because of the flavors and also to make the bacon stick to the meat. Now, with the bacon we just prepared, let's just sprinkle it on top of the meat and add a good layer of it. Once you add as much bacon as you want, it's time to roll it. To hold the meat in place, I'll be using butcher's twine. And please, do not hesitate to make as many nuts as you need. It is better for the meat to be tight than falling apart when grilling. And now you might be thinking, okay, it is ready for the grill, but not yet. I'm going to cover the entire steak with another layer of the compound butter we created before, and then place it on the fire. Are you impressed already? Look how beautiful it looks. It's looking amazing, so it's time to put them on the grill. I will insert a thermometer into it before getting the meat to the fire. That way I will be able to monitor it as best as possible. I will put the meat in the cool zone of the grill and allow the internal temperature to hit 120 degrees before doing anything with it. And because this is a big steak, I will rotate it mid-cook, so I can have everything cooked evenly. 
While our steak is heating up and cooking to perfection, I will create a board sauce to go with it. If you had never done this sauce before, this is something that you should try for sure, as it does elevate the flavors of your steak to another dimension. For the board sauce, I'll be cutting the following. Two green jalapenos, two red jalapenos, three shallots, three minced garlic cloves, a handful of rosemary, a handful of thyme, ground pepper, and regular salt. And the binder will be olive oil. Once you have it already, mix it up and leave it on your board because you're gonna be putting your steak right on top of it. When the internal temperature of the steak get to what we are looking for, it is time to sear it. In this case, because we have such a beautiful bark outside of the steak, we would like to be as careful as possible so we don't lose any of that tasteful and good looking bark. After the steak is seared to perfection, remove it from the fire and let it rest for 10 minutes. Remember to always do this, as it is an integral and important part of the cook. This is my first time doing this and I have no idea what will happen when I cut into it, but I'm so excited I can't wait. Once you start cutting in your steak and see those beautiful pink colors, you know you achieved perfection. What do you think? Well, Miss Ninja, today the expectations are all the way over there because I, I really, really, really want to bring her home today. Okay. And this is looking good already, guys. Oh, yeah. Man, the smell on this thing is crazy. <laughs> you know what it is? like? Of course I know what it is. What kind of question is that? Oh, that's right. But what do I think? This is like rocking around the christmas tree like christmas in july christmas in july <laughs> yes all right where are you from mars nah. <laughs> that explains it all so Mason, yeah, let's give it a try and tell me what do you think about this thing? it looks gorgeous let me just get a piece in here and love the pull smell it over. oh my god it's falling apart mm -hmm. look at this look at this i'm just gonna drop it yep. oh my goodness there we go this is your famous sauce, right? That's my With, famous oh, sauce. Oh, I love it. You guys have to try this it. This one's smaller. Yep. Oof, that mm, sauce is my awesome. My mouth is watered. But try it without the sauce. Okay. I want to try it by itself and tell me what's up. Let's do it right? without the sauce. Yes. All right, guys. We're ready for this one. Let's, Let's do go. it. Mm, oh, my God. Ninja. Wow. What is it? What kind of meat? Wow! <laughs> Literally, I didn't take a bite and it just fell apart. It's wow. not even a bite. Mm. This is crazy, it guys. Is. I mean, it's a prime, okay? It's, it's not wild, not, no, it's nothing crazy, but it's prime. Wow. But wow, this thing just melts in your mouth, Love man. It. Miss Ninja, this is something special that I prepared for you today Beautiful. because you're my homie and I like you a lot. That's why I did it. And this is my Christmas in July. That's your Christmas in July. <laughs> if you want to cut it like that, this is a ribeye cap, a prime ribeye cap. No way. With bacon, with butter and a bunch of other spices. And on top of that, my boar sauce. But you know what? What? The bacon did not took over the flavor at of all. the meat no. at all. Because you guys know bacon usually <laughs> will take over all the flavors. Bacon is strong, but in good. this case, it just fall apart. When you put it in your mouth, it just melt. And that's amazing. That's amazing. I'm impressed because it leveled out. Oh, wow. It's really good, guys. I mean, I was looking for a bigger one so I can make a bigger roll or something like that. I, I, I didn't find it. I love That's it. That's the biggest one they had over there. <laughs> and this is something rare, okay? If you find it in the store, get it. Because that's something that is not there all the time. Okay. And it's something that you would fall in love. This is the best cut in a cow. There is nothing better than this. This is a cap of the rebite. This is the best thing you can imagine. And it's amazing. Is it affordable? Yeah, it's okay. It's I okay. I love that. I mean, this whole thing cost me about 30 bucks. Well, guys, let me just tell you something, man. What? This thing is delicious, brother. And sister. Oh, my goodness, guys. <laughs> There's no way you can beat this one. So, 
If we made you hungry, please hit us with the like. Lots and lots of likes. Subscribe to the channel, share with your yes. friends and family, and don't forget to leave your comments down there. Let me know what you think about this when you do it. It's not expensive. Well, you buy it if you see it. Just let me know down there, man, because this is something that I will say is really worth it, man. It's worth it. It's rocking around the Christmas tree. <laughs> Look, Christmas. Why you got it with that? I'll let you know later. That's all for today, guys. But remember that I love you. Mm -hmm. We love you. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next one. Woo!